Hi Taurus, welcome to your reading. This is going to be for December 2023. It is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If this one doesn't resonate, definitely check out those other placements. It is a general reading, so it may not resonate for everyone who watches. So we're going to get into your current energy, the near future, what you don't see coming, and then what Spirit wants you to focus on this month. Then we're going to take a look at <clears throat> excuse me, what's going on with you and your person or whoever's on your mind. And we're going to clarify and all that good stuff. If you are returning, welcome back. Thank you guys for all of your support. If you're new, welcome. I do hope if you enjoy the messages, you'll consider subscribing. And if you'd like a personal reading, that information is in the description box below or in the about section of my channel. All right, so let's see what's happening for you guys for December. Okay, so let's see what your overall energy. We have the Eight of Cups in reverse. There's two ways that this can go. This could be an indication that there's still some lingering emotions around something that you haven't been able to release. Or, and I only say the two if I get to, you've already walked away from something and there's a relief of, or a release around emotions. And that could be energetically. It doesn't have to be that you physically walked away from something. It's going to be a little bit different, obviously, for each of you. But in this case, I, I feel both energy, so I just want to say, so let's keep going and see where this goes. So your current energy, all right, for some of you, this is already having made a decision because the Two of Pentacles is in reverse. The Ace of Swords, even without a clear answer, but the Ten of Cups. So for a lot of you, you've already walked away from something and you just aren't going back and forth about it. So whatever that is for you in your life, you must have gotten clarity at some point. And even if you didn't, uh, the Ten of Cups is coming out after that to say, this is the right decision. And I'm, I'm going to repeat myself, whether you did or you're about to, you're making the right choice for yourself, possibly for your family. Um, is Whatever this is, its emotions are deeply connected to it. And overall, it's going to be the right decision for you because the Ten of Cups is there to tell you it's going to make you happy. This could be a, a choice around a work, environment, a decision that you know is going to be happy for you could also be changing homes. I just heard something that's going to be better for your family. Um, there may have been an emotional connection to a property and you had a hard time walking away from it. And now you realize it was the best thing for you. And overall, you're going to be a lot happier. Maybe at first you weren't. And then it's like, it, it was almost like it was out of your hands in some aspects. That's just going to be for some of you. All right, so let's see what the near future brings. We've got the Three of Cups in reverse with the Lovers. Keep your friends out of your relationships. I just heard the Five of Cups. Okay, some of you, this may have been connected, yes, to a partnership because I do see that there is some sadness around a relationship, a close connection, a partnership, um, something I just keep hearing gossip and be careful who you share your business with whatever this change is ultimately you need to know even if there's still sadness connected to this they're trying to take you to a place that's going to be better for you it doesn't ever feel like that when you're going through the emotions but eventually that's where you're going to end up so there still could be some sadness connected to this now the three of cups in reverse is clearly not being happy about the way something has unfolded. I get that. Let's keep going and see what else we have. So what you don't see coming is the nine of wands, healing, getting through it, the king of wands in reverse, and then temperance. Okay, so we're in Sagittarius season, which makes sense here with temperance. There's a lot of back and forth emotions about something. So you may have thought something was going to work out. And then all of a sudden, there's this sadness connected to it. And then temperance comes into play here and says, you keep going back and forth about how you feel. So whatever this emotion is connected to, if it's a person, a love relationship, somebody else in this connection, not you, <clears throat> has disconnected. And I feel like you're working hard to get through. You've gotten through some really tough times. And yes, you've got some more wounds there. Um, but a part of you, I, I think, is still going back and forth, maybe energetically you're still one foot in one foot out the eight of cups is the overall energy so being in reverse some of you know that this is the choice that's going to be right for you is to walk away from it and 
what that's ultimately going to mean. Yes, you're going to have some sadness, but they're trying to take you to a much better place where you deserve to be happy. And the fact is, yes, that's what it is. You, you do. You deserve to be happy. All right, so let's see what Spirit wants you to focus on. Mm, getting beyond any kind of betrayal or frustration connected to this. And then the Ace of Wands, they want you to focus on letting go of some of these burdens that you've been carrying for some time. Could be connected to your relationship. And just something that you feel really overwhelmed by. Let this be the new beginning because something is getting ready to start. And there's going to be a lot of fire and a lot of passion. It could be a new romance as well. A new romance. It sounded like a, a goofy, but that's what it is. Romance can be just something new that comes into your life that feels really good. It's spicy. It's energetic. And if this is all definitely connected to love, but this is something new, not something old. So it doesn't matter how long you've been out of the relationship. If you're still dealing with some of the emotions, I feel like you're going to leave a lot of that behind in December and you're going to start moving forward. So don't kick yourself in the butt if you haven't been able to release it. It's okay. We all feel what we feel. <clears throat> Sometimes we push it down and we don't want to deal with it. I just feel like spirits like release whatever burdens connected to this situation the best that you can. Just release them the best that you can and let go of some of that resentment or anger, especially if you felt betrayed. There's nothing worse than feeling betrayed. You will heal clearly. You're about to get to the other side of it. I'm not saying that that, <clears throat> I don't know why I've got a little froggy in my throat today, but I do. I just feel like you're going to heal from this situation. All right, so let's see what your challenge is. We've got the Queen of Swords. Um, I don't suggest this often in readings, but if you, it, sometimes we need someone to talk to. And sometimes friends aren't the person. And if it's challenging for you to, to speak up or speak truthfully to other people, like sometimes people want to be quiet about their stuff. Maybe you don't want to share a lot of what's been going on in your life. But I feel like this is trusting that there is someone and therapy. I always say therapy can be great. If, if you don't feel like it, I understand. But there's nothing wrong with it. If you need somebody to be able to chitty chat with and you don't feel like you can really get what you need out of your friendships or the people that you do discuss things with now, that may be an option. I don't know why that's popping up. I would never tell anybody what to do. <clears throat> All right, so let's keep going and see what this is connected to because it feels very connected to love and just finding your happiness. And if you still have one foot in, one foot out, no doubt December could feel a little bit challenging. Let's see. So the Eight of Cups in reverse, Three of Swords. So you're getting over something still that obviously hurt, but that's healing because it's in reverse. So you're on your way to that. Two of Pentacles, both in reverse. You made a decision, Ace of Pentacles. Because you know this is the time. If this is related to your work, it's the right time. And you're going to find the job. It's either going to show up in your experience or you're going to be led right to what's next. If you're starting something new. This is just a new opportunity to do something different in your life. It's like your life is starting to change dramatically in a lot of different ways. You've got two aces here, which is the beginning of something brand new. Let's see what we get after that. We get the Four of Cups. So offers. In this one, he's looking at the cup. So this could be offers of love coming in. It's a new opportunity for you to have a totally different experience than you have in the past. Um, it's definitely somebody offering something to you. And I think you're going to take a look at it, which is great. I think it'll bring you a lot of joy. It'll probably help you work through some of the sadness and release some of the emotions connected to something else that didn't work. The Two of Pentacles in reverse with the Ace of Swords in reverse. This did not, something from your past did not support you, did not make you feel good about you. And those are the worst. There are a lot of lessons involved in those relationships, but this feels like it kind of picked away at your self-esteem. So that's a tough one. Ace of Swords in reverse with the Ten of Cups, the world. Something is shifting and changing. You're starting to feel better about yourself. You made decisions to release these emotions connected to difficult relationships and the sadness that you felt that things hadn't worked out. If you've been single for a long time, this could be not really 
fully ready to get engaged, not engaged like engaged, but not fully ready to engage in something because of those past things. But I think you're still working on healing and you're going to because the world is here. Yeah, this is a new start for you. This is like the beginning of a new era. I don't know why I felt like saying that, but that's what it feels like. So the three of cups with the lovers, we have the star. All right. Still working on the healing. Yes, I get that. There could also have been somebody new that's come into your life and you're just not 100% sure about that. You could still have to work on your intuition connected to seeing red flags or knowing whether somebody is really truly who they say they are. The lovers with the five of cups, the five of swords, not wanting to fight. Maybe your guard's been down and that's what's making you sad. Like you fought for so long and hard. You just don't want to anymore. You're a little exhausted. Now the nine of wands with the king of wands. We have the strength card. You could have been dealing with a Libra, not Libra, Leo, Aquarius, um, another Taurus or Sagittarius. We have a lot of fire energy here. So Leo, Sag or Aries. Now the strength card's coming out. You got to find the courage to get past this and move beyond that connection as hard as it may be. I think you're going to find it. The king of wands in reverse with temperance. We had the hangman in reverse. Yeah, you're coming out of a place of kind of dangling around or feeling like you're unsure of where things are going to go. I just keep wanting to say somebody new is coming into your life. If you're partnered up and that's everything else or that's okay in your life and there are other things that you're working on, then this may not be the one for you today. But it's definitely, definitely about getting really clear about your feelings and, and healing something. All right, so the Ten of Swords in reverse with the Ace of Wands, we have the Knight of Pentacles. So Spirit wants you to focus on taking steps slow and steady. <clears throat> Don't jump at the first offer if you are looking for a new job. Take your time to make the right choice. Sometimes making a really quick, rash decision out of fear um, could be something that's not great. Make sure it's something that you are truly passionate about as well. Because you've got that Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. So it is definitely about your passions and having patience while things, it's very grounded energy, while things work out. I, I just want to say don't take the first opportunity. Ace of Wands with the Ten of Wands in reverse. Queen of Swords, you've got to speak up. What is this energy with the Queen of Swords in reverse twice now? Your challenge and then what Spirit wants you to, to work on is being very clear, getting clear with yourself about what you want whether it be in, romant in a romantic relationship or in a work environment, if things weren't going well and you, you know, there were some not so pleasant energies that you were working with and that was frustrating, I can see where, you know, it takes a lot of strength to get past that or overcome the pettiness of other people in a work environment. And now it looks like you're going to be putting that burden down, but there's a part of you that still needs to be get very clear about what your boundaries are and what you want and what you will and won't tolerate. All right, so let's see what your challenge is with the Queen of Swords. You need to speak up, the Eight of Swords. So it's hard for you to get out of a place of feeling stuck in your head. And the only way to do that is to speak your truth. Wherever you need to speak it in your life. Be honest with it, whether it's a new partner, an old partner, if you still feel you have things that are unsaid. But this is really truly about you being able to speak up. I don't know a lot of Tauruses that love confrontation. I don't think anybody loves confrontation. But in this case, it's almost like you'd rather just walk away because it isn't worth putting the energy into. I think every Taurus I've ever um, had any kind of relationship with has always said to me, it's just not worth the energy. And I totally understand that. But if you're carrying some emotions connected to it, then clearly it's affecting you. So sometimes we need to get that out and it needs to be said to the right person. All right, let's keep going and see what else we get because this is a lot about you changing the direction and really healing some things that have been emotionally weighing you down. Let's see what happens when we pull out these cards for you and your person. What's going on with Taurus and their person or whoever's on your mind? All right, so your person's energy, we have the Queen of Cups, and then we have the Ace of Pentacles. So somebody is definitely trying, but they're a little bit confused. Um, I think they see you as somebody 
who's incredibly nurturing and loving, but they don't know where they are or where they stand at this point. They could be confused about what they want in their lives as well, and that could be what's so hurtful. If you're back and forth because you're unsure of them and then they're unsure, that can be really frustrating. The Knight of Wands just tells me they want to make an offer, but they're not sure how to move forward. Your energy is the Six of Pentacles and then the Three of Wands, Page of Cups. All you can do is communicate how you feel. If you're concerned about being too vulnerable, I wouldn't necessarily. I don't think you have anything to worry about. I just think this person is unsure of where they want to be at this point. And that, that's frustrating. I get that. But sometimes you have to take a chance. And I think a part of you wants to explain, you know, what you're feeling and thinking. And that's important. Communication is everything. And this is going to be really necessary for you. I think you're going to finally open up and speak your truth. <clears throat> going on here with Taurus so past life relationship you have known each other before that's probably why you feel so deeply connected and emotional love yourself first your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive always love yourself first you can tell people how you feel but what's most important is how you feel about you and then healing family issues your love life benefits as you forgive your parents some of you are still working on some of those things and it's not the easiest thing in the world to work on we carry that with us no matter what, but you may still find yourself at this point in your journey, still trying to heal from some of those wounds. And it, it helps if you look back because it'll show you what your patterns are as well. And then forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. So there you go. So a lot of you, that's what this is about. Before you go jumping into either something new or you figure things out, if you're in a current relationship and having some questions about it, it's more about your personal healing first and getting through the things that you've already experienced so you don't end up having that mirror situation with a partner. So forgiving and learning. All right, let's get some advice. This is for Taurus. All right, so we have the Queen of... That's the third time that card has come out. I don't know what else to say to you guys besides speak up because I think speaking your truth is what helps somebody open up a little bit more because you've got a Knight of Cups here. Somebody wants to come towards you. I, I think they question how you feel about them. Have the strength and courage to just be honest and a little bit vulnerable. The Knight of Wands, see you're afraid to connect. That's what it feels like. I know you're probably saying, no, I'm not. I'm not. I want to open up. But a part of you is closed off. If you haven't healed some of this other stuff, then you're not going to be able to deeply, deeply connect with somebody, especially if you're afraid of being vulnerable, especially if you're still carrying pain from the past. So I think this is just an indication that there's still some work that needs to be done so that you can open up and have that really great experience. I mean, they keep wanting me to go back to this Ten of Cups because this is what's trying to come your way. So if you're looking for partnership, it's happiness in a partnership. There doesn't have to necessarily be kids involved. There could be. But it's important that you do this stuff so that you can find that joy. Sadness about what hasn't worked, I get it. But what's important is to be able to release that and allow yourself to open up to somebody new. All right, let's get one more card. Ace of Pentacles, that's twice now you've gotten a new opportunity. If you speak up about where you're unhappy, if you have a job that you're unhappy in, if you speak up, you'd be surprised what can come of it. This could be about a raise, yes, of course, but it's something else. I feel like somebody is going to be bringing you an opportunity. So get ready for it because that's twice. You get double confirmation that something new is going to come in. You deserve more. If you feel like it's time and you put in a lot of effort and you didn't feel supported at your job and this is the time for something to take it up a notch and they're not going to give you what you deserve, it's time for you to look for something new because you deserve to make what you are worth. Oh, and then they had me look at the bottom. See, this is him waiting for something to grow. Is it worth it? Is it worth waiting to see if something's going to get to the place that you had hoped or expected. Yes, we have to nurture things and let them grow. But I feel like you've given 
so many opportunities to so many situations, love or otherwise, and waiting for something to grow is great until it just doesn't get anywhere anymore. And then you have to ask yourself, is it time to make that change? All right, let's get a couple of cards from the Lover's Oracle. This is for Taurus. Okay, this is the one that wants to pop out. Look inside yourself, examine what is causing you to feel this way. Sometimes we do have to take a step back and, and ask ourselves, why are we unhappy? Why do we feel this way? Or why are we closed off and not open to a new situation? Especially if you're carrying old things into something new. Life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow and you'll be surprised where it leads. That's easier said than done. Every time that card comes out, I say the same thing. It's not easy to go with the flow. Try your best. That's all you can do. Look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. That could be somebody that's crossed that you're thinking about. I, I don't know why that's coming up, but for some of you, this could be someone that you lost. It could be a romantic partner or it could just be somebody in your life that you miss. Transformation, your relationship with one another is about to deepen love, conquers, and transforms all. So those of you that are having challenges in something new, this is that sign that if you open up and you allow yourself to heal some of these things and be a little bit vulnerable, something's going to shift and change. So it's up to you to do that. Obviously, if you're sensing red flags, run. But if this is just a, a case of fear, try to open yourself up the best way that you can. All right, now let's keep moving and see what we get from the wisdom of the Oracle. This is for Taurus. All right, so you're coming out of a what could be a darker time. Back and forth energy, Sagittarius energy, again, temperance. It's like coming out of a dark place because you're still one foot in and one foot out, but you're coming out the other side. And, and it's like the color's coming back to you again. So that's a good sign that things are starting to shift and change. Now, you could be born on the third or threes could be significant to you. The yin energy. So this is balancing out your energy. A lot of the feminine or female, I'm going to say female Taurians carry a lot of masculine energy. So you may need to step back into your feminine a little bit more if you can. Um, and it's balance in relationships, that equal give and take. It could be born on the second. And then we have why. So we, we all ask that question. Why did this have to happen? There could be a book that pops up, something that's really important that you need to either read or something that's going to show up for you to connect with. It may help you uh, spiritually because it has little wings. So again, we've got a three. So you could be 31, born on the 31st. The third, the first, or the fourth of the month. And then we have the yang. So there's the yin and yang energy. You definitely are at a place now where things are trying to balance out in both your energies. This is also self energy. The number one, who you have to focus on first. And that's you. Obviously, if you still need to do some healing, then self-focus this month is going to be super beneficial. All right, I, was, I thought they were going to say something else to give you another message. This is really about your healing and allowing yourself to be a little bit vulnerable into something new. So I hope this helped. Thank you for being here. I so appreciate you all. Those are your messages. Again, if you'd like a personal reading, that information's in the description box below or the about section of my channel. I'm sending you a ton of love, big hugs, happy holidays, and I'll see you in the next one.